hobbyers. Okay, today is something different. I have never done one of these before, but they are called Metal Earth models. Uh, they're done by a company called Fascinations.com. So, I have a strategy with this. Since I have never done anything like this, and all they are is thin strips of mirrored steel, I'm guessing very thin steel, like maybe a millimeter or less. Probably more like a half millimeter thick. And basically all you do is you bend it to the proper shape, and then using a hook and tab, or a tab and hole connection, you just bend them into place and that locks everything together from what as far as I can understand so my strategy with this is I got one of these for Christmas and when I saw it I just thought it was gonna be marvelous when it was put together because it's gonna be very shiny these details are amazing looking so there's gonna be it's gonna be a nice looking model once I get it together if if <laughs> being the key term I can put it together properly without messing it up because being thin steel like this I can guarantee it's only going to take one wrong bend and it's going to be ruined because it's always going to have a crease no matter what I do I'm never going to get rid of the crease like for example on this there's a texture to it so if I were to bend it wrong, I'm never going to fix that. There's just no way I can do that. So, well, one of my favorite ships of all time is the Millennium Falcon. So, I got two of those. <laughs> so that I can do this one first and get a good feel of it so I can learn how to put it together and how it works going together with the hole and tab and I can practice with this one so if I do mess it up too bad it's not the end of the world now I also got some special tools well just one special tool these are these are uh, Tamiya bending pliers these are basically just flat on the inside they have a nice flush edge and the tip is also moderately straight I wouldn't I guess I could do that but it's a little off I guess it's not perfect I mean for 10 bucks or 14 bucks or 12 bucks I can't remember what I paid for it but not you know <clears throat> it's not like I'm breaking the bank with a $50 tool here that I might use for a handful of kits so that's the tool I use I may use some rubber gloves depending on how bad I put fingerprints on this but I do not know I haven't decided yet I guess I will try with this and if the fingerprints just wipe off easy enough with a lint free cloth like you would use to clean eyeglasses or sunglasses or something like that I may just put it together and then buff it out with a cloth depending on how good I can get a grip on it with some nitrile purple gloves that I'm I always use for painting and or airbrushing at least so we have two of these so I've explained that partly because once I get to that point I should know how to put these together so next we have the X-Wing Starfighter. So that is also, I, I wish you could see how detailed that metal was, but it is magnificently detailed. <clears throat> so now this one looks like it might be a little more difficult because there's a little bit uh, more, more parts that happen to be smaller, but they're also very detailed. So I'm going to use an X-Acto blade. Well, I'll use like a chisel blade from an, for an X-Acto knife and very carefully cut these out 
and use a metal file to make sure they're nice and smooth. And hopefully, after two Millennium Falcons, I can get this done. Next is the venerable R2-D2. Now, he doesn't look... He looks bigger in scale, but he doesn't look as complicated. The only thing I'm worried about are the curves, which might prove to be... The curves might be tricky to get bent where they don't look all uneven and just ugly. So, we got an R2 and another one of my ships. We have the Enterprise D. It feels like this one got a little dented somehow. Maybe in shipping, but... So, I have a... Might be off to a bad start on this one already just from the shipping process but also it looks like it's got some lovely details all along the the dorsal side of it that that I can see in the from the packaging anyway um, so that's gonna be a nice looking kit I might give that away too I don't know it depends on I know some people who would be interested in having a little enterprise D for a display and my favorite, I guess this will go with the F-15E model kit, scale plastic model kit that I have. So I'll have a couple of F-15s. One will be a Metal Earth. So I'm not real sure if I like the way this one looks, but it depends on how I can get it together and see what it looks like from a better angle because I don't like the angle on that picture. So... But it could prove to be a very interesting model all the same. So, those are the Metal Earths. Those are going to be a learning treat. We will start with uh, lots of stuff. I should have hours and hours of videos for all of these Metal Earth ones. So that should prove quite interesting. So, that will be it for this video. And, well, I hope to see you all soon, hobbyers. Until then...